selling the Kartra versus, because I guess MailChimp also offers landing pages and auto email responder. And I already use that for just blasting emails out once a month. Um, but that's really all I use it for at the moment. So mm -hmm. um, I'm sure that you're connected to Kartra and that's cool. And I get that. And of course you're going to promote mm -hmm. it, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, be real with me too, because yes. I'm also a new agent. I really, I started really in January. And so I also need to keep my costs down. I'm not trying to, you know, be the realtor that spends a subscription on every single thing and, you know, gets into debt. But, mm -hmm. but I do, mm -hmm. but I am all for it. Um, I just want to know if I, I'm sure you have your two cents on the difference between the two. So, um, let's get major difference, ma ma major difference. Okay. First of all, when it comes to, if, if they do have landing pages, they're very, very basic and, when it comes to online marketing, like this is just what I study and what I do. I don't know one single person that runs ads to a MailChimp landing page. <clears throat> like I'm, and I follow the best of the best, like just like you in real estate, I'm sure you have mentors and you follow different people. I follow different people when it comes to this. Okay. And I've never heard one single person ever use a MailChimp landing page ever, ever, I ever. I wonder if that's because they can't insert that pixel, Facebook probably, pixel. Probably, probably. Yeah. Um, all right, probably that, that could be a huge reason why if you cannot put your pixel on that landing page, why don't you let, let's start there, find out if you can do that, because if you can, then just use MailChimp. But I know with MailChimp after a certain amount of leads, you do have to start paying. So <clears throat> there goes a monthly fee for the email autoresponder, and then you need a calendar. So all oh, I promote Kartra for is for, is for the landing pages, the email yeah. autoresponder and the calendar. Okay. I'm sold on that. So let's just go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if there was a better one, I tell you about it. Like forget about Kartra. Like, yeah, I do. The reason why I do promote it is because rather than charging you to teach you how to use it, they pay me. Sure. I get so that's that. That's how that works. Like I can easily charge you. Like I could charge you to teach you the whole damn thing, or I could just get a bonus from them just to refer you. And that's what I do. But at the same time, there's many different platforms out there there's many different softwares out there and all i'm trying to say is that i've seen every single one of them and if they were better i'd promote them right. but i've been promoting kartra hardcore for the past two years because i don't know of any other service that's better for cool. the price like for the price like a huge popular one out there is click funnels <clears throat> which click funnels nine out of ten marketers use click funnels but click funnels is a hundred bucks a month just for the landing page uh so the main, main thing is I need an email autoresponder and I need a calendar. That's the main, main thing. So once you, and, and here's another thing <clears throat> with, um, yeah, with, yeah, I, it's the pixel. If, if the pixel can't go on that landing page with MailChimp, then that's the reason why no one uses it. Yeah. <clears throat> that would be the only reason, the only reason. Yeah. Makes sense. So find out if you can, but I do know after, I think it's like after 2000 leads, you have to pay. Anyway. Well, it's like, well, right. So that was my, that was why I wanted to know, because if I'm already paying a monthly fee with MailChimp, because I Oh, you have, are paying a monthly fee? Well, it's like once you reach 2000 contacts, yeah, yeah. unless you unload them and then re-upload them every single month, which I just mm -hmm. don't feel like doing, <clears> you pay, yeah. it's only 35 bucks, but they give you all those other bells and whistles, but mm -hmm. they don't, I don't think they have a calendar. And if you can't insert the pixel, there's really no point. So yeah. That yeah, that's very weird. That's very, very weird. I'm surprised KW wouldn't, wouldn't do that either. Well, so it was weird. I went into the command thing and I wasn't able to um, really create a landing page. I think what it's really intended for is just uh, they give each agent a website, a personal mm -hmm. website, and it's just like four <laughs> different pages, which they create and you can edit it. But um, I think that that would have just been more of a headache trying to figure out how to connect everything. So, yeah. Okay. So then did you set up the 14 day trial already? I did. Okay. So here's what we got to do first. What's our, what's our first plan? Is our, is our first plan to run, to run a video ad? Yeah, I'm going to do the intro. Like you said, perfect. Um, perfect. I'm definitely going to do that. And once I do that though, I feel like I have now a 10 day window to, to make sure that I have the next one done and prepared to have a landing page so that when I run the next one after 10 days, I'm good to go. Like I, I want to make sure I'm 
prepared yes. and I don't have any lapses. So I'm not in a rush to post the video until I know I can connect all the dots. You know what I mean? Perfect. 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 So then is the video already done? No. Okay. <laughs> so once you get the video done, okay. here's what you're going to do. You're going to upload it to this business page, just like you would any other video. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come up. In fact, you know what? Let me, let me show you how to do this. Let me show you how to do this now. Why don't you just um, share your screen? Can you share your screen? Yeah. Okay. Let me, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through this. What do I do here? Desktop Go ahead and, one? At the bottom, you should see that green button that says share screen. Right. I did. Then it popped up with a window saying desktop, whiteboard, iPhone, iPad. Yeah, do desktop. Okay. Open, allows you to share your screen. Allow, okay. Is it, will not be able to record contents of your screen until it is quit. You can choose quit now or do it on your own. What? I don't know what that, I don't know what that could be. Um, I don't understand. It says that zoom.us will, will be able to record the contents of your screen until it is quit. You can choose to quit zoom.us now or do it on your own later. I'm wondering if it's because I have to check this off for preferences. Um, that I don't know. I don't know what you're seeing. I don't know. That's weird. Um, uh, it wouldn't let me. What I can do, let me just, I'll record this and I'll just send you this recording. I'll walk you through it on my end. Okay. On how you're going to, how you're going to run the ad. Okay. Okay. So here's what you're going to do first. You're going to simply, as I mentioned, you're going to upload it here just yeah. like you would anything else. Okay. And then you're going to write out the text. You're going to write. So I'm telling you this, the, this post is the actual ad. So write out, write out the text and um and even put a title because as you upload this you should you should be able to put a title and the text so this goes on the page first and then after that you're going to come up here click on create and you're going to click on add and that's going to bring you to the ads manager so there's two there's two pages that i want you to bookmark and it's going to be, and then you up here, you could just create like a folder. Like I would create, I would create a folder and I would name it ads manager, just like I have right here, ads manager. Okay. And then you just have everything bookmarked in there. And, and what I'm going to have you bookmark are a few different pages back here. This is one page. So this right here is where the magic happens. This is where you run ads. Um, right. And a lot of people will try to do it on their cell phone. A lot of people will come over here to their page and they'll just, you know, kind of scroll through and they'll see a post and Facebook will say, we'll see that we'll show the blue button and it'll say boost post or something like that. Don't ever do it that way. Always come back here and run the ad from here. Yep. And that's why through command, I mean, it may seem like it's easier, but, but I don't know what, what could be. I'm, I'm already here. Like I'm here. So if anything, yeah. they're just, they're just, you said they just click that button, which is yeah. funny. Yeah, it's right here. So that that's the only check I got to mark is that is that is that check mark. And then that filters everything else, the age, the gender, all that. It's, it, it's all because of that check mark. Okay. So this is one page I want you to bookmark. And okay. then the other page I want you to bookmark is right here. It's ads manager. So this is the setup of everything. And then we'll get back to that. And then this is the dashboard. So as you start to run these ads, you'll, you'll be able to track everything in the dashboard, how many people viewed it, how many people clicked, everything would be right here. So this Perfect. is the dashboard. So I want you to bookmark the dashboard and then I want you, and then, and then, and then to go back to the other page, we click on the green button, which is create. So we click on that green button and that brings us back to where we started, which is the first page I wanted you to bookmark. Okay. So you're bookmarking this page and you're bookmarking the other page which all you do is click on these lines and click on ads manager. That's the dashboard. Okay. So right. bookmark those two pages for sure. Okay. So this very first ad and, and let's chat after this one. Cause that's when we're going to have to go into that. That's when that's when, and you know what, here's what I want you to do. Here's what I really want you to do. Now that I think about it, I want you to, I want you to, to cancel that 14 day trial 
because you're not going to need it this second because we're going to run the video view ad first. Right. And that's going to be 10 days. Right. So I don't want to, I don't want to eat into that 14 day trial. Okay. You know, so here's what I want you to do. Cancel it. And then as you set it up again, just keep my link, go back to my email that I sent you yesterday to, to set up another 14 day trial. But when you do set up the new 14 day trial, use a different email, use a different email. Yep. And also do it in incognito. Do you know how to do that? Incognito. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Do it in an incognito window. Okay. So start that 14 day trial the next time we speak, which will be in 10 days. Let's just call it 10 days because okay. this okay. ad, I want you to run for 10 days. Okay. So here's how, here's how you're going to set it up. And, I'll, and I'm going to walk you through the entire thing. This is ad number one. So we're going to check this box. Now that we click that green button, we got here. Or now that we came up here, click create, click add, we got here. Yep. So these are the three steps, campaign, ad set, and ad. That's all there is to it. But as I mentioned yesterday, you can have the best video or whatever, image, text, whatever. You could be targeting the right location. But if you don't choose the correct objective, nothing's going to work. Right. And, 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 and a lot of, what a lot of realtors do is they'll put out a video and let's let's just say it's not an intro it's a video on a listing or a video on an open house or whatever they'll they do can... a video they'll put it on their page over here and they'll come back over here and they'll run video views right and then a few days later they'll wonder why they never captured any leads right because that's not a lead capture ad that's a video view ad right. so right here it couldn't be more clear like you're telling facebook exactly what you're looking to do mm -hmm. and so in this case, the strategy is to run it as video views. We're not going to capture leads from this video. What we're going to do is we're going to capture an audience. So okay. we're, going to pay a, we're going to pay to find our audience. So for example, once we set all this up, let's say we do end up targeting your area. And, and what I, what I would, would suggest, are you, are you just farming a few zip codes or how, how are you targeting your, like your business? What do you um are you are you after the whole city or are you after just a few zip codes usually i pick like a 20 mile radius i think it is 20 or 10 no no not in here not in here just in general like you like as far as oh, oh, gotcha. about the internet like you um, offline like yes. where do you are you trying to do business in just a handful of zip codes or in your entire city or does it matter or it's, uh like two counties we'll say perfect Okay, perfect. So here's what, 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 we, what is a good way to target it is simply getting an address inside of that county. So we'll target a 20 mile radius, for example, around right. the physical address. Yep, that's what right. I usually do. And I pick one so that it encompasses the whole you know, yeah, area yeah. that I'm looking to target. So perfect. yeah, that perfect. it doesn't go in the water. Because like yeah. you, in California, you know that you don't want to create a radius right? where it's in the water. Yes, I right. I'm going to be attracting fish and all that. Yeah, I know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the deal with this one. Let's say, for example, with that being said, a couple counties, two counties. Let's say when we do set up the targeting, which is in the second step, which is ad set. Let's say we end up with a potential reach of, let's just say, 100,000 people, which is probably super small, but I'll just use it just as an example. 100,000 people. I'm just giving you the strategy behind this first ad. You target a potential reach of 100,000 people. Let's say out of the 100,000 people, 10,000 view this video. But the 10,000 didn't watch the full four minutes. Only 5,000 watched at least 50% of it. Right. That's a lot of people. Like that's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. So now you have what I mentioned yesterday is a custom audience. The custom audience is now these 5,000 people that watched half of your four minute video for someone to sit there and watch two minutes of someone. There was some type of interest, like you caught their attention somehow, some way, cause there's no way in hell I'm watching two minutes of your video. If there's no interest whatsoever. Right. right. So that right there becomes our first initial custom audience. These are people who have now seen us and now we're going to show them another video. So now with that custom audience, we turn around and we retarget them. We still put in our same demographics, our same two counties. We still target that, 
but we also include the 5,000 who watched video number one. I want them to see video number two. Mm -hmm. And as I do the same thing with video number two, now I have two custom audiences, the 5,000 from video number one, the 5,000 from video number two. Now I go run ad number three and I'm retargeting video number one, video number two. So now these people keep seeing your face. And again, these are people that are watching your stuff. So in, in, in just basic marketing 101, a person has to see you several times before they make a move, before they make any type of decision whatsoever. They need to see an ad. They need to see your message. And it's, it's, it's anywhere from six to seven times. But video, the way these videos work, the way these ads work is that that ad will go through the newsfeed several times per day. So there's a chance that that person may see it a couple times in a given day. So by the time 10 days, they could have saw that video several times. And now when they go see video number two, oh, there goes Becky again. So now they're seeing you again. And so that's why this first one, if we can just roll out and introduce ourselves, very non-aggressive, hey, my name's Becky, just want to introduce myself. I know there's a lot of people in the area that don't know me. Let me tell you a little bit about my background and what I do for a living, how much I just, I just love real estate and why our city is just so prime for the next real estate boom or whatever the hell you want to say. Okay. You know, but, but if you can get a, a handful of people to watch that first one, that's a warm market that, that you just continue to retarget, retarget, retarget. And again, when you're dealing with thousands and thousands of views, you literally only need a few to do good. The one thing I want to see if you're able to do it is just how you're able to retarget that custom audience. Yes. Like once that, that ad ends, I'm assuming they yes. must create that audience for you to be like, this is how many people saw it. Yes. Yes. But that's I exactly what, 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 it, what it does is after that video, that's when we'll talk again. So after that video, we'll then go set up a custom audience and retarget all those people with video number two. Okay. Okay. So this is how the first one to go. Check that box, come down here, hit video views, and then you're going to simply just name it video views. And we'll just name it intro. Okay. I'll always, you, I'll always leave this first part right there. That was there by default. So I'll always leave that. And, and then I'll just name it, whatever I'm naming it here. There's, there's three levels. So each level wants a different title. Okay. So this is video views. This is intro. Make sure that both of these are shaded gray. Sometimes you'll see this one blue, just shade it gray and then hit continue. Okay. And then this is now the second step. So now we're in the audience. We're in the placements. We're going to tell Facebook where to place it. And then we're in the budget and the schedule. So in here, what I'll do is I'll, again, they want you to title it. So I'll title this, the, the counties that I'm targeting. So I'll say, San Diego County. That's who I'm targeting in, in this one. So this is step two audience. That's who I'm going to be targeting. That's just the title. But as I come down here is where I can, I can put in the actual locations. So this is where, and, and, and right here, as, as we go into ad number two, and as we create the custom audience of all these thousands of people who watched ad number one, right here in the ad set is where I come down right where it says audiences. And this is where I'm going to click and I'll see a drop down of the audience that I created, which is the first audience of the 5,000 people who watched half of my video. I'll see it right there and I'll be able to title it. I'll, I'll title it. I'll put, I'll put something like viewers, 50%, 50 watched 50% 50 of my intro video. I'll okay. see that drop down right there. Watched 50% of my intro video. Okay. So I'm able to title it myself and I'll see it right there. I'll hit the drop down and I'll choose that audience. And that's who is in target. Now, now once that audience gets big, because as you start to run these videos, you're going to start creating these audiences and you're going to have thousands of people in these audiences. As these audiences get bigger, I can only target them. Like I don't even have to come down here and choose a state, choose a location, gender. I don't need to worry about any of that. When I put in my own audience, Facebook, I can target only them if I want, which is very, very powerful. Now, we're sure. not there yet because we don't have a big audience yet. Right. But in the future, you can, you, can, you can target just the people that are watching your stuff, yep. which is powerful, like super, super powerful. So, and here's, here's another thing, just future. This is what I'll teach you in, 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 in you know, a couple ads from now. But 
as people go to your landing page, this, it, it's not going to happen on this video view one, but as we run ad number two, and also by the way, it's only the first one that's video views. Ad number two is conversions. So that's when we come up here to the objectives and we're no longer, even if it's a video, video number two, ad number two, it's a right. video, fine, but we're not running video views. Right. We're running conversions because with conversions, that's what you use to capture leads. So if and you have a landing have page, it's conversions. Yeah. Okay. That's when okay. I'll have the little learn more button and then take Yes, that's when you'll have the learn more button. Exactly. Now with the video view one, you're going to have a button, but it'll just, it'll just be a send message button. And it's, it's only a button there just for, just for the hell of it. Not many people are going to really click on it. The whole objective is to get thousands of people in this local area to see this video is to view it. Okay. So that's the objective is the view, but ad number two, it's ad number two and on it's conversions. Mm -hmm. And there's, yep. there's a, there's a, there's a handful of things that we have to do before we even run that conversion ad. We got to set up a custom conversion, which that's a whole nother call, but we'll, we'll get there. But Right now, it's just video views. It's video views. And then we come over here to the second step. Again, we named it um, whatever county. And yep. then we'll come down here and we won't put our audience. Actually, that's, that's what I meant to say. That's why, I, that's why I brought you back to conversions. Here's what we'll be creating in the future as well. When we start running conversion ads, the whole objective is to get them to fill out the form. So for example, if I'm running a, an ad on a listing and it's a conversions ad, and my objective is to run conversions because I'm looking to capture leads. People come to this page. They come to this, this first page right here. I have my Facebook pixel tracking it, the social real estate agent. So this is my pixel. This pixel is tracking everyone who lands here. As people come here and they fill out the form, okay, they fill out the form, and they hit send me the details they're then taken to this thank you page right here where there's a this is just a template i'm going to send you this this page just as a template but this is a video where it'd be like hey this is becky thank you so much for inquiring on 777 plaza boulevard this is an amazing listing let me introduce myself and tell you a little bit about this property that's a one minute video right there just selling the hell out of that property but 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 not too aggressive just doing what you do but at the same time, introducing yourself, telling them thank you, and most importantly, well, not most importantly, but also telling them to check their email. So in that short video, you're saying, hey, and by the way, check your email. I just sent you 17 photos and all the details on the property. You're gonna love this property. So many families are, 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 are interested. So if this is something that you're super serious in and wanna schedule an appointment now, click the button below to schedule your private showing. So normally on this video, whether it's an open house, whether it's a listing, whether it's a buyer guide, whether it's a seller guide, the moment that person enters their name and email and they come to your thank you page, this right here is where you should be on video. Yep. Thanking them, number one. Number two, introducing yourself. Number three, telling them to check their email because you just emailed them all the details the buyer guide, the seller guide, the listing info, the open house coming up this weekend, whatever. You just email them all that info. That's number three that you're telling them in that video. And then number four, you're telling them to schedule a call. And once they click on that button, it takes you straight to your Karcher calendar where they can schedule a call. And so, and so my point is, is that um, everyone who lands here, so I have my Facebook pixeling everyone who landed on the landing page. And also, if you look at my pixel, look at my pixel up here. Mm -hmm. I also have my pixel tracking everyone who lands on this page. So now in Facebook, I create a custom audience of everyone who landed here. This custom audience are my leads. So that's why over here, I have one set up, but this is for a different business. Look. Webinar leads, web page visitors only. These are people who landed on the page but didn't fill it out. These are email broadcast viewers. So, so webinar leads, that could be listing leads. So in this case, I would be including them to target and, and show my next ad. But the reason why your pixel and the reason why custom audiences are so important is because this person, they fill out the form, 
they came to the thank you page. My pixel is tracking everyone who landed on the thank you page. The only people that will ever, ever, ever land on the thank you page are people that filled out the form. When they fill out the form, they become a lead. So therefore, when I go run my next ad, I'm not gonna include them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to exclude them. I don't need them ever seeing another ad. They're, they're already a lead. That makes sense? Why wouldn't you still, I mean, yeah, they're a lead and I can follow up with them, but don't mm -hmm. you want to still continue to target them if they haven't bought a house yet or sold or? Now what you're going to be able to do is you're going to be able to email them. Now they're on your email list. Sure. So yep. any future listing or any other future communication can go via email. It doesn't okay. have to be spent on a Facebook ad budget. Gotcha. These are okay. people who already opted in. If they opted in for my open house, they opted in for my listing. Right. They opted in to get my buyer guide. They opted in to get my seller guide. So, so if, if you go on this weekly you know, campaign of, of promoting a buyer guide or a seller guide and someone comes to your page, opts in to get your seller guide, and then they come to, the, hey, thank you for downloading my 2020 seller guide. I need to exclude them from ever seeing another seller guide ad. Okay. Yeah, yeah sure. Then so you push so that away. right there is powerful. Okay. Like you don't know how many times where I buy stuff and, and I buy stuff from, from marketers, right? I buy stuff from people like me that are actually doing what I'm doing just so I can hack them and I can, you know, learn how the hell they're taking me through their funnel. Like I learn a lot by buying shit and, sure. and, and, and it's, it's crazy because a lot of times I'll buy something and then I'll continue to see that person's ad for the next two months. And I'm like, bro, how are you still targeting me? Like I already bought your stuff. You should have been able to track that on your landing page and excluded me in your future targeting. Got so it. It's like, I see it happen to the best of the best and I don't get it, but that right there would save you an arm and a leg on money because Mark, you're, you wouldn't yeah. be targeting the same people again. You don't need to target them no more. Got okay. It. So, so the custom audiences in the Facebook pixel is super important for including and excluding audiences. Okay. okay. So yeah. hmm, we'll deal with that in the future. Once our audience starts building. Okay, so we scroll down and then right here, this is where you put the location. And then in this section, I'll always go with people living in this location. This is a big, big deal because if you choose the wrong one, it, you end up targeting the wrong people. So sure. you want people living in this location. And then all you're going to do is you can either type in a city, but again, what I would do is I would type in an actual address. Okay, why so, versus the city? Watch. If I type in, let's say if I type in San Diego, I type in San Diego and the miles, it drops it to 15. The minimum is 15. Okay. But if I type in an actual, and this is for real estate and, and let's see if it changed, but it's been like that for a while, but let me see if it, if it's still the same. But if I type in an actual address, so if I type in three, seven, two, one, let's just make up cherry blossom. So if I type in an actual address, let's go to this right here. Okay. So before it used to be able to allow me to go down to one mile. Let me see. Yeah. See that that's why I was giving you this, this advice, but I guess it doesn't matter anymore because before when I used to just put in an address, it would allow me to go down to one mile. Oh, wow. So if I'm only farming a couple of zip codes, what's that? Can you type it in? You see how to the right you have 15 written in there. Do you think it'll go like if you type one, will it work? Yeah, no, it won't. Okay. okay. Yeah. See 15. See the address would used to allow us to go down to one mile. So for yeah. example, if I'm marketing a listing and I only want to attract the neighborhood or run an ad to only the neighborhood, that's where that would have mattered. But sure. I guess 15 miles is, is the minimum now. Okay, so address or city, I guess it, I guess it doesn't matter. But, I, but at the same time, San Diego versus national city, so 15 miles around this specific address, it does make a big difference now that, now that I really think about it. Because I could type in either national city and it'll get everyone, or I could type in this address inside of national city and only get 15 miles around that address. True, okay. Okay, so I guess you can do either one. But to be more specific, the address would be would make more sense. Okay. Okay. But if you're again, if you're after the whole entire county, I guess just type in the county. Just type in the county. 
Okay. So that's that age doesn't matter. Gender doesn't matter. You could type in English or it'll just default to English. Um, and then right here, this is super, super important because a lot of times people will try to put in all these different keywords to try to find that exact person mm -hmm. in real estate, or I should put it this way. When it comes to a local business, that kind of doesn't matter because we're only targeting this area anyways. Right. So I'm only targeting 15 miles around that address. So I don't need to make it any smaller. Like I don't need the audience to be, <clears throat> to be any smaller. Like I'm already screwed on the age. Like I, I mean, I might as well just target every, everyone anyways. And at right. the end of the day, what I'm doing is I'm creating custom audiences. So although they're going to, there's going to be, you know, a good percentage that don't watch my stuff. It don't matter. I'm creating custom audiences around those who are right. So the targeting has nothing to do with it. Like at all, like I would leave it wide open. Don't even worry about putting in Zillow or realtor. Like don't even put in any of these keywords. Okay. Just leave it, leave it open. And then right here, what you can do is you can, um, exclude people who like your page. The people that like your page, before we ran the ad, you had people on your Facebook friend list that are all over the country that liked it. When we ran the ad, we got people from all over the damn place. So yep. we don't need anyone on that page to see this ad. We don't yep. need any of our money going towards promoting it to them. So question though, why would that even be so if I'm already saying, hey, I want you to target this area mm -hmm. and majority of those people that like my page are from all over, why mm -hmm. would it still, even if like, even if I didn't exclude them? Good question. Good why question. Would it, you know? it, it, it possibly, it possibly <clears throat> wouldn't even target them, but, but there's, I guess there's, there's a reason why this is even here. So sure. if it's here, I'm going to just exclude it. Sure. I'm going to, I'm going to just exclude anyone who likes or, or <clears throat> yeah, anyone who likes my page, I'll just put it in for the hell of it. Cause it's there. Sure. But at the same time I could delete the whole thing as well and not even, not even worry about it. So you can do that or you can just exclude. It's totally up to you. Okay. I was just okay. curious. Yeah, for sure. Right here, placements, this right here is what you want to do as well. So by default, it's on automatic. And all that is, is all of this. So automatic is leaving everything checked. So Facebook, it's not just the newsfeed where they run ads on. So this newsfeed over here in the middle, this is not the only place where, where ads are being ran. Sure. Ads are being ran on Instagram. They're being ran on the messenger. They're being ran on the audience network, which is a bunch of websites that Facebook has partnered with. You'll be on random websites and you'll see an ad and it's a Facebook ad. Or over here on the right-hand side, so you see sponsored. These are ads on the right-hand side. So when it comes down to it, uncheck all of these except for Facebook. Okay. And, and especially if that video is not um, um, optimized or, or the dimensions don't fit for Instagram. Because with Instagram, it has to be a short video. It has to be a certain dimension. So if that video is shot on your cell phone, and, 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 it's, and here's another thing with your cell phone, with video on Facebook, you want to hold your phone horizontal. Yep. So landscape. And so if you're doing video that way for Facebook, that video is not fit for Instagram. Uh -oh. So I uncheck it. Okay. And then also in the future, as you start to run Instagram ads, you'll want to run Instagram ads just on their own. So, so if, if this was only an Instagram ad and that was a 30 second video that you did on your cell phone and you held your phone vertical, and it was only meant for Instagram, then we would only check that box. Okay. Okay. So in this case, we're going to, we're going to do just Facebook. And so I had to go manual and mm -hmm. I check only Facebook and then I come down here and then we're going to also narrow it in even further. So with Facebook, there's all these different places and it shows you to the right hand side where that ad would be. So marketplace video feeds, Facebook stories, um, in stream, in stream videos, what I do in article. So there's a bunch of different places. What I do is I uncheck all of them. I uncheck all of them except for the newsfeed because that newsfeed is where all the attention is at. So I don't need to spread myself thin. I don't need to spread my, spread my budget thin. 
I want my budget going all to one location. And this right here is the one location. This news feed is prime real estate. Okay. This right here. So perfect example. This this person right here, she's running in the news feed. That's where all the attention is at. So I want all of my budget going towards the news feed, nowhere else. So that's that right there. Okay. Okay. So we scroll down, we scroll down, we scroll down, and then you don't need to worry about any of this stuff right here. And then budget. So down here, you don't have to worry about any of that. Leave all that as is. And then all we're going to do is we're going to go down to budget. So whether you're, it doesn't even matter what your budget is, five bucks a day, 10 bucks a day. You kind of want to be at 10, 10 a day if you can. Like 10 a day, 300 a month is, is kind of where you want to be um, to start. And then as you start to capture leads, as you start to close your first deal, you're going to bump that up. Like, like that's what you want to do. And it, it all depends on how much you know, business you really want, you know, for, I mean, it's totally up to you. Some people want a ton of business. Some people are cool with just a couple of deals a month. So whatever you're shooting for, just the 300 a month should be your benchmark or should be the minimum. It should be your, your starting point. Okay? okay. So with that being said, here's, here's how you want to set it up. It can be set up two different ways, but I only use one. I use lifetime. So two different ways could be $10 a day. So I can go, I can go daily budget, 10 bucks a day. Or, and let's say we run it for, for 10 days and there's a hundred bucks, or I can go lifetime and I can go lifetime a hundred bucks. So it's the same thing as far as the budget. But the difference is, is that you give Facebook more flexibility per day on that budget rather than capping them at $10 a day, because every day it's different. Every day there's, there's, it's, it's different traffic. Every day it's different. So sometimes Facebook has so much momentum where they could have showed your ad to thousands of more people if the budget was at $13 a day. But because we had it at 10 bucks a day, it capped out. So I just set it as a lifetime budget and I'll do 100 for the whole entire 10 days and let them do whatever the hell they want to do within that 10 day period. Okay. Right? Without any restrictions. Just sure. here's 100 for the 10 days, do what you do. So I'll go lifetime budget. I'll go 100, whatever the budget is. And then what I always do also, and it, and it doesn't even depend on what time of the day it is. Like right now it's freaking, what do you, I mean, it's what almost 11 o'clock, right? Almost 11 o'clock your time. Now, what a lot of people do is they'll just come in here and they'll start the ad now. Facebook has to approve it. Facebook has to review it. So that could take a couple hours. So what I always do is I always run the ad. I always start the ad on the very next day at 6 a.m. Okay. So I'll go 6 a.m. very next day, and I'll simply change this calendar from June 18th to the 28th. So there's our 10-day period. Right okay. there. That right there. That right there would get you thousands of people to see that video. Thousands of people in that county. That's powerful, B. Like, that's so powerful. It's not even funny, man. But, but again, if you can do that every, 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 and even, you know what, to tell you the truth, if, if that's your budget, if that's your budget, 10 days, if, if you can do that every 10 days, if you could put a hundred bucks every 10 days, you would crush it like 400 every 40 days, you would crush it. You would crush it. You would absolutely crush it. That whole town would know who the hell you are. So okay. again, this is just video number one, video views. We're going to start here. So Whatever that budget is, is up to you. You'll still be able to create a custom audience. It just comes down to obviously how big we want that custom audience. And that's all about the budget. So let's say that's our budget. There it is there. That's how I set that up. And then don't worry about this. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Just hit continue. Okay. So now we're on the third and final step. Over here, the title, I mean, again, you can name it, you could title it or, or not. It's up to you. But um, I just always try to be specific because based on the titles, the campaign, the ad set, the ad, I can see that in the dashboard. So I can just take a glance at it on, on the dashboard and, and see it. So right. titling it is actually a good thing. So you could title this one or whatever, but this is the final step. This is the ad. So here's what we do. Always make sure this is your drop down right here, your business page. Always make sure you're on your business page. And if you have an Instagram account, add it right there. And then as we come down, what we're going to do is we're going to click on use existing post. 
And all we're going to do is we're going to click select post and it's going to open up a post from that page. And on my page, these are all YouTube videos. So it's not going to allow me to run an ad on a YouTube video, but in your case, you'll see your video right there. Okay. And all you do is click on it, hit continue. And that is it. Once you, okay. once that video populates, all the text is already there because you put it there when you posted the video. So all the text will already be there. The video will be there. And then all you'll see down here is you'll see a call to action button and you click on call to action. And then it gives you all the different um, options, learn sure. more, um, download, send message. Like there's a few different call to actions, but the, the one that you want for this one is just send message. So you'll see, you'll see call to action, click on it and then look for the drop down of send message. And you can just put that one for your video view. Okay. But then after that, when you start running conversions, your drop down, your call to action button will be learn more. Okay. Okay. Question. Do you have any insight as to what you would recommend for the text that you would put with the video? I know that I post the video first and um, is there like some kind of psyche with what you should or shouldn't put? No, I want you to post it like you would anything else, like okay. anything else, like a normal post, like anything else. Okay. But one thing you can add in it and just, just like anything like, Hey guys, just wanted to drop an intro intro video on myself and, and what I've been up to in real estate. I know a lot of people don't know me, but here's a quick video. Hopefully you enjoy it. Reach out to me for any real estate needs or blah, blah, blah. Like, it, like keep it super, stupid, simple. Okay. Okay. And what you can do, which is, which is also good. I see it in real estate posts all the time or ads all the time. Cause I, I look at a, a bunch of different ads, but emojis. You don't have to go crazy with them, but adding right. a few emojis are, are pretty cool. What about like, hashtags? Is that something you should no, do? No, you don't need that. You don't need hashtags at all. Okay. Okay. Hashtags is cool for Instagram, but not for a Facebook post. Adding a few emojis would, 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 look, would look good. So the one that I, that I normally grab my emojis from is this emojicopy.com. So these are all a bunch of different emojis that you can just put inside of the text of that post. You pay for this? No, this is free. Oh, cool. Yeah. Emoji copy.com. Okay. Okay. So maybe add a, I don't know, add a, <clears throat> add a palm tree at a house. You know, there's, there's houses right here. Yep. So I can add those to, you know, the, the text. Okay. Yeah. That would be really cool. And then, and then right here, it'll, it'll say your pixel, but right now your pixel is not set up, nor does it have to be. But if that's blue, then whatever, but most likely it'll be, it'll be gray like that. And then you just click confirm and that's it. And that's it. And then, and then you'll get an email um, or notif you'll get a notification on Facebook or an email saying that your ad is um, scheduled or running. And once you get that ad, then that means that the ad was approved and it's scheduled to go live when you set it to go live, which would be okay, the next so day. Wait. That pixel thing, that's only, you only will check that for the second ad and beyond when we actually have a landing page. Is yes. The pixel is, is okay. only for the landing page. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, um, that's when we'll chat again. So, so schedule a call, get this video done, upload it to your page, run the yeah. ad. Um, I'll send you this video here so you can play it back. But, um, let that, let that bad boy run for 10 days, man. And let's get thousands of people to see it. And then let's just start everything from there. Okay. But my one question too, is that, um, so I'm definitely going to get the video done today and mm -hmm. I'll upload it and I'll do all this so that the ad starts tomorrow. Uh, but if we don't talk until it ends, that's that lag period that I was telling you about. I don't really want to, you know, have another couple of days where I'm like, Oh shoot, I still have to create a landing page and I still need to, you know what I mean? Okay. So then if you want to just, so then do you want to just use these 10 days to, to get acclimated to the actual landing pages? Would that be okay? That'd be perfect. That'd be perfect. But yeah. I guess the way I, the only reason why I even suggested that is because I guess I'm, I'm just being super biased on my end because I just know it's super easy. Like it takes two seconds to put together a landing page. So, um, and yeah. so, and so I just know that I can, I can show you how to do it super fast, but you, we should take some time to do that. We should take some time to do that. So why don't you just keep it? Just keep the keep it, and let's just let's just get everything. What I'm gonna do is I'll email you a bunch of share codes, and these are just different funnels that I already have built. 
and let's schedule a call. So get this done. Let, let, let this be homework for today. Get this part done. Yep. And then I'm about to go to the hospital in a couple hours because they're inducing my wife. We're having her baby today. Oh, oh congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. It's kind of crazy. Hopefully we have it today because she's at her, I think she's like at her 39th week, but the baby, our boy is like freaking almost nine pounds. <laughs> so they're like, holy shit, like you need to have this baby now. So they Hey, her today. you know what? I was almost a 10 pound baby. No so way. Not, Are you serious? I'm dead serious. And I am like not a fat person. So don't worry about it. <laughs> wow. That's so cool. That's so interesting. And did you, and you came out normal, like with like no drugs. I mean, or- as normal as I guess you can call it, but uh, as, far as, I- as far as your mom, like she didn't have, like they didn't induce her or C-section or anything or what, or, or did they? No, I think she had a normal birth. Yeah. Normal. Really? really? Yeah. I was the last one though. So I don't know if it, I was always told that the babies get bigger each time you have another one. So I was the biggest oh, wow. one. I was the last baby. So I don't know. <laughs> that could be true. That could be true. Cause this is, this is my wife's third. So she, yeah, she had a previous, her son's 18 now, but then we have a little daughter together and now we're having another boy. So what was the daughter? What did she weigh when she, she was like seven? She was like seven something. Yeah, she was you, like a little over seven pounds, and now this one's almost nine. There you go. And that's why the doctor last week they were they were planning on giving her like a C section. They're like, dude, we need to cut you open and get this damn thing out now. But then another doctor said, no, let's just induce her. So we're checking in in three hours to be induced and hopefully have it today. I'm so excited for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah so, so you may cool. see a picture of my little one. Yeah, later on. Right on. yeah. So let's so 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 today will be, you know, I won't have any more time today and, and, and sure. tomorrow. Let's chat. If anything, let's go back to my link in the email yesterday, my calendar link, and schedule a call for um for Friday. We could we could definitely go over everything on Friday. Okay. I'll do that. And I'm also gonna go ahead and cancel that that trial, like you said. Or do I not? Because well, we're going to, well, that I, app is going to be running for 10 days though. Yeah. That's why what I would do is I would, I mean, it's, it's up to you. If, if you want to, if you want to use this, this grace period to learn the software, that's what I would do. That's what I would do. I'd keep it. I would keep it. I would keep it. Okay. Let's use these 14 days. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to register. We have trainings every Tuesday and Thursday. I did. I registered. Oh, for did the- you? Thursday at four. Awesome. And also jump into this group. Did it. You already got the group? Oh, <laughs> did you're, it. On it. you're on so it. The only thing I didn't do was watch that video that they were like, you know, watch this video and it's like an hour long and I'm too ADD. I'm like, oh my God, I can't sit here. <laughs> <laughs> what, I don't know what video, was it a training, like an onboarding video or what? Oh man, so you don't even know? Okay, so when you sign up for the free trial, they mm-hmm. send you to a landing page afterwards that tells you the four steps of what they want you to do. Mm-hmm. The first thing is watch a video. The second thing is like joining the Facebook community. Gotcha. The third thing was the other thing that I told you I already did. Um, but yeah, the video is like, uh, I guess the guy that maybe owns the company mm-hmm. and he kind of just goes on, uh, I guess an hour spiel of, um, I don't know. I haven't listened to it yet. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. I signed up two years ago, so I don't think they had that back then that video. Lucky. Yeah. That's a pretty long video. <laughs> that's a long video. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just um, try to jump on, try to jump on tomorrow's call. Try to jump on tomorrow's uh, Q&A call, Thursday call, okay. just to kind of get a feel of it. And yeah, keep it, just keep it. Let's, 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 and what I'll do is I'll, I'll email you a bunch of share codes, which you're probably not going to know what to do with them just yet, but okay. I have all these funnels already done for you. You're the best. Yeah, I have like a lot of them, like open house listings. They're just templates that you can just hold on to and just kind of work around. Thank but once so I much. show you how to use them, it'll, it'll be pretty simple. Yeah, I'm stoked. I know that it's like, so I won't keep you long, but have you ever heard of a company called Banner Season? No. Okay, so, or Send Out Cards? Send out, oh yeah, Send Out Cards. One of my good friends, uh, well, actually he's not really a good friend. I haven't spoke to him in years, but he was actually one of my first mentors, which was about 20, 21 years ago. And his name is Jordan Adler. Oh yeah, he's huge in Send Out <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's like one of the top producers, but- yes. 
Uh, yeah, I joined Send Out Cards a couple of years ago, but made a switch to another company called Banner Season for a lot of different reasons. But mm -hmm. it's it's the same similar idea as far as the cards. But it also um, the the benefit of this one is that you can customize your cards and gifts, mm -hmm. and you can do a one off or you can do a hundred. So mm -hmm. I can send literally you like a water a really nice like forty ounce water bottle. Uh, with my logo and your name on it. So it's really cool because you can brand both your yourself with your customer and still like send things out all at once without, you know, and it automatically will insert their name and do all that. Really um, and there's no, there's no contract. You just do it as you go. So I, I get the whole like setting up process. It's like, it's a lot of grunt work in the beginning, mm -hmm. but once mm -hmm. you do, it's like set it and forget it. And yes. it's, it's so yes. nice. That's what this is all about is, is yeah. doing the grunt work. But then once we have, once we're up, the entire machine is automated. Yeah. I like love that's that. what this is all is from the video to when the, when people are coming here to land on the, on the page to the moment they're entering their name and email to the moment those emails are automatically going out to the moment they're clicking on your calendar and scheduling appointments, all that is automated. Love it. Like that's what I am in love with. Like marketing, yeah, totally. bringing the people to us rather than us having a fish for the people. Yeah. You know, and we actually we are, are fishing. We are fishing for the people, but we're catching the ones that are interested, you know? Exactly. They're the ones biting the bait. They're the ones biting the bait. So, yes. So yeah. jump on that call tomorrow. Schedule a call. Let's, let's, if you could chat Friday, let's chat Friday. And then, and then we'll go from there. But try to get the intro up before then. Yeah, I'm going to do that right after I get off the call with you. Cool. All right, B. Message me if you need anything else. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.